गुड मॉर्निंग ये फॉर आई होप यू ऑल आर डूइंग ग्रेट टूडेज टॉपिक इज यूजिंग अ कैलेंडर वेल आई नो इन द क्लास यू ऑल इन्जॉयड अ लॉट एंड सेट दैट इट वॉज सो ईजी आई ऑल्सो थिंक सो दैट यू हैव अ वेरी गुड अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ द टॉपिक सो फॉर दोज हु मिसड आउट द लेसन एंड यू आर वॉचिंग द रिकॉर्डेड लेसन यू विल ऑल्सो इन्जॉय अ लॉट लेट्स बिगिन विद लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिवस so by the end of the lesson you should be able to calculate time intervals in weeks and days and apply knowledge in solving word problem related to real life situation so what exactly is a calendar calendar is basically a way to keep track of the days weeks and months in a year well uh, let me give you an example of uh, you know a birthday is coming up and you want to know uh, when to go to the birthday party so you would mark the date on the calendar okay let's say uh, 26th of may i have to go so this is one example of you know a calendar some same is the case when a new baby is born so everybody marks the day as their birth date so that we can have an uh, have a check on how many years they are uh, when the time passes for example you are now 9 years old or 8 years old so um, how do we know that because of the calendar so these are few examples of uh, what exactly a calendar is and why it is used so why is calendar important we just discussed it but if there were no calendars it would be extremely difficult for people to keep up with important events that's right now this is the calendar for the month of may let's study the different parts of the calendar here so this particular is the name of the month over here these are the days like sunday monday tuesday these are the days this is the first day of the month these are the different dates throughout the month like 9 10 11 these are the numbers and we call it date this particular uh, is that we can say that we start a new week on every sunday this is the last day of the month now over here i would like to uh, give you one important information that if i start a week from sunday so i would say that this particular is my one week right we know that week has exactly 7 days so it's 1 2 3 4 5 and a new week will be starting again on the 9th of may right this is this was easy part but what happens if i ask you that what is the day one week ago from 25th of may so either you will count down the seven days behind like 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 which comes as 18th or you, what you are going to do is that you are going to just go upward so it was tuesday 5th 25th of may so a week ago it was 18th of may a week ago it was 11th of may a week ago it was 4th of may so you don't have to count you just move one um, row upwards all right that's a small little tip for you to calculate the weeks right let's move on so how do you read a calendar so how many days are in the month of may yeah that's right you can see here this is the last day of the month so there are 31 days on which day does the month begin now this is the day that we are asking not the date so the day is yes exactly it's a saturday how many fridays are in this month look at the fridays how count them on 1 2 3 4 there are four fridays on which day will the next month start so the month ended on monday so it will be 1st of june on tuesday right what is the date of the second saturday in the month so this is the first saturday of the month and what is the second saturday of the month this exactly is the second saturday of the month so it's 8th of may 
Well done, you have understood clearly how exactly you are going to read the calendar. Now this is from your workbook page 17. This particular is basically the uh, month of December 2020. So let's find out and answer these questions. So write the day and date. So you have to write both of these things. Okay, day and the date. So three weeks before 30th December. So over here, this is 30th December. What do you think is the day and the date? Three weeks ago from 30th December. Okay, just uh, divide your question into different segments. So today is 30th December 2020. It's just an example, right? And then you are going to move backwards three weeks. Just use the trick that I told you a few minutes ago. Okay, next question. Nine days after 13th December. So you are going to first circle the 13th December and then you are going to count onwards till nine days then two days before 3rd December so this is 3rd December and what is the day and date uh, two days ago then what is 11 days after 20th December so this is 20th December now over here you have to count on the days just in case you know because it's not just a week so it's 1, 2, 3, 4 and up to 11 days. How about I ask you a bonus question. What is the day and date 15 days after 21st of December? So uh, you are going to first make a circle on 15. Where is uh, 21st of December? Yeah, this particular is 21st of December. So you are going to find out what exactly is the day and date after 15 days. So you may have to change the month. Just a tip. Right. Now let's move on to our next slide. Now this is from your student book page number 22. You have to uh, first read the um, calendar for the month of May and answer the following questions. So study the calendar and answer these questions. On which day of the week is the 24th? That's easy. What is the day of the second Tuesday? Okay, that is also easy. Write the day and date on which the last day of this month fall. So you have to find out what, what is the day uh, when the month is ending. Then uh, what is the date the next day? means after the first uh, after the last day of the month what is the date okay what is the date of the first friday of the may so these are easy questions i'm sure you can do it just pause my video here answer the questions and resume when you are done now let's check were we able to meet the objectives so we are done with calculate time intervals in weeks and days now let's try to find uh, let's try to apply our knowledge in solving word problems. So this is our individual activity. This is a calendar for you and a few questions over here. Okay, in question number two, you have to fill in the missing information. Well, that is super easy. And then question number three, Sanjay wrote a test on 23rd May. He got the results a week later. When did he get his results? So you have to find out exactly that uh, if uh, this is the month of May right this is the month of May let me show you uh, by circling it yes if this is the month of May and he wrote his test on 23rd May so after a week he's getting a result so when did he get his results then how many days in this month fall on a date that is an odd number so you have to count down the a uh, number of uh, dates which are odd like first and then there will be three here so three five seven nine and so on and then count down the write down the total number of days which were uh, having an odd date right that was super super fun right and we are able to meet both of the objectives 
So that is amazing. This is our citizenship value to do your best each day. How about you share something with your friends and family or write an email to me about how confident you feel about today's lesson or what exactly have you learned today? And what is the thing that you enjoyed most about today's lesson and why was that? So with this, our lesson comes to an end and of course you're amazing and we knew that you could do it, right? So I will see you. Uh, in the next recorded lesson, take care and bye-bye.